Rotting breadwater, the forgotten trick that summons worms and supercharges soil microbes instantly. If your garden soil looks lifeless, compacted, or tired no matter how much compost you add, you're about to discover a forgotten trick that can change everything. Right now, hidden in your kitchen, lies one of the most powerful microbial boosters you can make at home, and it costs almost nothing. We're talking about rotting breadwater, a simple yeast-based ferment that doesn't just feed your soil microbes, but actually summons earthworms and restores tired ground faster than most fertilizers ever could. This isn't a myth or a garden gimmick. It's a real biological process that transforms stale bread and plain water into a living solution that wakes up your soil from within. So before you toss out that old loaf, watch closely, because what we're about to show you will turn kitchen waste into a thriving underground ecosystem teeming with life. Rotting bread water is not a stinking mess or a moldy soup. It's a controlled fermentation that produces a yeast-rich liquid alive with beneficial microbes. When bread ferments in water, natural yeasts and bacteria multiply rapidly, breaking down sugars into compounds that feed soil microorganisms. What starts as a simple mixture becomes a microbial brew that acts like an instant feast for your soil life. So this process, it really just mimics what happens naturally in rich, undisturbed soils. A constant cycle of decay and renewal driven by these invisible armies of microbes and worms. The fermented breadwater, well, it provides food for both, encouraging microbial blooms that attract earthworms from deeper layers of the ground. These worms, drawn to the scent of fermentation, they aerate and fertilize the soil even further, creating a self-sustaining system of fertility. In short, what you're making here is not a fertilizer, but a living soil conditioner that triggers biological activity from the ground up. When yeast ferments, it releases enzymes and organic acids that start breaking down complex carbohydrates into simpler sugars. Soil microbes, bacteria, and fungi, they just love these easily available energy sources. They multiply quickly, increasing soil respiration and creating the kind of environment that worms really thrive in. The chain reaction is powerful. As microbial populations explode, oxygen levels rise in the soil. This draws in earthworms that prefer well-aerated, food-rich zones. The worms feed on these microbes and on any organic residue, producing worm castings that are packed with bioavailable nutrients. This natural process transforms even dull, clay-heavy, or sandy soils into spongy, nutrient-dense earth within weeks. So, what you're really doing with rotting breadwater is flipping a biological switch, reigniting the life that your soil has been missing. Here's how to make the concentrate exactly right, so it works every time. Take 500 grams of stale bread. It can be white, brown, or mixed, as long as it's not covered in black or fuzzy mold. Tear it into small pieces and place them into a clean bucket that can hold at least 4 liters of liquid. Alright, now let's pour in 2 liters of lukewarm water, ideally somewhere between 20 and 25 degrees Celsius. Stir it well until the bread is soaked through. If you're looking to boost the fermentation speed, you can add a tablespoon of molasses or just a teaspoon of plain sugar. This little addition will feed the yeast and bacteria early on, helping the mixture to bubble faster. Next, cover the bucket loosely with a lid or cloth to let those gases escape. Leave it to ferment at room temperature for about 24 to 48 hours. During this time, you should see bubbles forming and notice a light, yeasty aroma. That's the sign of a healthy ferment. However, if the smell turns putrid, like spoiled milk or rotten eggs, it's best to discard it and start over with cleaner materials. After one or two days, go ahead and strain the liquid using a fine sieve or cloth. The liquid that drains out is your breadwater concentrate, a microbial powerhouse that will soon awaken your garden soil. The remaining bread pulp can either be buried directly in the soil or added to your compost to keep feeding the ecosystem. You know, the key to success here is dilution. Concentrated ferments are really strong and can actually overwhelm plant roots if you apply them undiluted. The correct ratio is one part, concentrate to nine parts water. That's a one to nine dilution. This uh, ensures that all those beneficial microbes spread evenly and establish safely in your soil. So, 
If you made 2 liters of concentrate, you'll want to mix it with 18 liters of clean water to make a total of 20 liters of working solution. This dilution is gentle enough for seedlings, established plants, and even those sensitive ornamentals. And always remember to stir or shake your solution well before use, just to keep the microbes evenly suspended. Once your working solution is ready, you can figure out exactly how much you'll need. The recommended rate is about 2 liters of the diluted solution per square meter of soil. This amount gives a thorough microbial drench without flooding the root zone, so your plants get the benefits without any risk. So, if your garden bed measures about 10 square meters, you'll need around 20 liters of the diluted solution, which, by the way, conveniently matches one full batch of the recipe we talked about earlier. Now, for a smaller space, like a standard 4 by 8 foot raised bed, you're only going to need about 6 liters of the working solution. That means using roughly 600 milliliters of concentrate and then diluting it with 5.4 liters of water. Honestly, the math is pretty easy to scale up or down. The key thing here is just to keep the ratio consistent and make sure you apply it evenly to the entire soil surface. The best time to apply rotting breadwater is early in the morning or late in the afternoon, when soil temperatures are cooler and microbial activity can thrive without being scorched by the sun. Simply pour it directly onto the soil using a watering can or a low-pressure sprayer, focusing on the root zones of your plants. If the soil is extremely dry, give it a light watering first, so the microbial solution can sink in deeper. This helps the microbes reach the root zone faster and prevents evaporation losses. For heavily compacted or lifeless soil, apply the treatment once every two weeks for the first month, then reduce to once a month as the soil comes back to life. If you're preparing new garden beds or refreshing old ones, use the rotting breadwater a week before planting. It will kickstart the microbial activity and create a perfect foundation for seedlings to establish strong roots. If this video helped you understand how to bring your soil back to life, don't forget to subscribe to Soil and Crop Central for more proven, science-backed techniques that anyone can use. Hit the like button, share this with your fellow gardeners, and let's keep building healthy soil, one loaf at a time. Your worms and your plants will thank you.